As part of making dolls, we have to create the part that will eventually be the head. We begin by pouring a small amount of liquid into each one of the molds. Inside the rotating furnaces, the mold will continue to rotate until the vinyl assumes the shape of the mold. After a few minutes of this going round and Proposing and designing a product involves imagination and research. Sometimes, new products also involve introducing new concepts. At Miniland, creating a new product also involves anticipating emerging needs. For everything to come together and for the product to be created exactly the way we designed it, we need to first create a digital three-dimensional model of it. We then send this 3D prototype from the computer to a numerically controlled milling machine. This precision machine will then sculpt the desired pattern into the steel, creating a shiny mold. The mold is created in order to shape the plastic. But for this to happen, the mold has to first be placed in some very special equipment called injection machines. This forklift is transporting some very strange looking material. What at first glance looks like rice are actually tiny pieces of polymers or plastic pellets. The plastic pellets are melted inside the injection machine and shaped into the pieces that will become part of Miniland's products. Pretty important, isn't it? This animated graphic shows the interior workings of an injection machine. The plastic pellets mix together with the dye and are melted into a thick paste at high temperature. This hot paste is then injected into the interior of the mold and placed under high pressure until it cools and hardens. And there you have it, a perfect and shining plastic piece. The injection process might look very routine, but the reality is that machines, and the people who operate them, exercise precision control, ensuring that each piece turns out perfect, so that we can guarantee the safety and durability of the toy that it will eventually form a part of. Perhaps an isolated piece doesn't really tell much of a story, but if we join it together with the other pieces, can you tell which toy we're making? To manufacture certain toys, some plastic pieces need to be subjected to other processes, such as tampography, which is a form of image transfer that allows an expressive face to be applied to the piece. These features will become important elements of the final product. But the same technique is not used to make every single piece. For example, plastic fruit is created via air injection, a process in which air is blown into melted plastic, pressing it against the interior surfaces of the mold. When the plastic later cools and hardens, voila, an apple. As part of making dolls, we have to create the part that will eventually be the head. We begin by pouring a small amount of liquid into each one of the molds. Inside the rotating furnaces, the mold will continue to rotate until the vinyl assumes the shape of the mold. After a few minutes of this going round and round and round in the furnace, the heads and all of the other pieces that will be used to make the doll are taken out while they're still hot. In order to give each doll its distinct expression, a number of different processes are required, including adding colour to the face and adding the eyes and hair. Some of our dolls have painted hair, while others have the hair grafted onto the head, a technique that gives them a more realistic appearance and that requires each of them to visit the hairdresser. After the head has been placed on the assembled doll, it's almost finished. But, just like any baby, it needs to have some clothes. For this purpose, we have a workshop where we handcraft each of the garments to be worn by the dolls. The dolls are now almost ready to leave the factory and to bring a very special sensation of warmth and belonging to the families that take them into their homes. In the meantime, the assembly line in our factory keeps rolling along, with each of Miniland's toys awaiting its turn in a very long line for final assembly by the skilled hands of our specially trained technicians, one piece at a time. The toys that have become such an important part of our lives are placed in their boxes. They're all here, 
super pegs, super blocks, and so many others that will soon become an important part of the lives of children all over the world. Don't you wish you could grab them out of their boxes and start playing with them? Do you remember the air injection machine? Well, it's also kept rolling along, making attractive fruit of different shapes and colors. Now, it just has to be placed in baskets and wrapped up before it's sent all over the world. But first, these baskets will have to take their place alongside of hundreds of other Miniland products until some very special trucks come to take them from the warehouse and send them to all of the homes and schools where they will at last become part of the games and lives of children everywhere.